Okay guys, so awkwardly I lost the intro segment for this video, but luckily I have this war footage that I can talk over. Essentially, this project is called Wraith. Now Wraith was my attempt to make a companion to Sauron in the pseudo-primary category, and in doing so I'm using a Nerf Hera. Now I have a full mod guide for the Hera, which I will be linking in the end screen below, but instead of doing what I did for the Switch last time, which was very complicated, this time I'm using a MOSFET to kind of bypass the switch in terms of uh, its electrical current load and I'm doing that so that I can use the stock switch, maintain its original clickiness, but that's just the goal for this project. It's of course a full hydrographic dip job with the vampire film and uh, I took it out to the SENC war recently where it rocked and I wanted to show you the internals, how I wired up the MOSFET and then kind of an overview of the project. But. Uh, Shout out to the SENC. You can check us out in the description box below. We have cool moms who reload magazines. Alrighty guys, so I meant to use a different kind of MOSFET, but I wound up using this MOSFET. I found this old letter actually that a fan of mine named Refi sent, and it's got this excellent diagram here explaining exactly how to hook this up. So MOSFETs aren't actually that hard. They're actually pretty stupid proof as long as you know exactly where everything goes, which means that they're not actually stupid proof at all. But you can kind of see here how we're using the MOSFET and some leads coming off of that to bypass uh, the major current going through the switch while still utilizing LiPo power. So we've got full-size leads coming off of the circuit and I think here's one of them which is still very long and then here is the other one coming off of the switch so that's a cathode and an anode and they are ready to go this is a z44n mosfet kit version one and i was told that this is a prototype but that's all wired up to the original motors uh nobody has come in yet and made aftermarket rival motors i believe i have some friends that might be thinking about it it might be a hint of a dream of a whisper but uh, that is something very exciting. In the meantime, these are still completely satisfactory for rival ammo performance. So not that there's anything wrong with that dream, just that these are doing a crack up job right now as, as is. So everything else is ready to kind of go back in and we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. Like I've already tested the MOSFET circuit and I'm really happy with it because this uh, in particular for how tiny and how little the space is here for the Hera, this is the most efficient optimal system to utilize. So reassembling this, then we'll take it and I'll show you how it kind of loads up and fire. Alrighty guys, so this is of course Wraith, and you can see that the studio slash workshop is currently full of love. We've got two SCNC members here working on separate projects. Go ahead and slam the Hera, or as I'm calling this now, the Wraith's battery door down. Now you can see we have a seven rounder loaded up. I like how it's so low profile, and the snappiness of this cannot be underestimated. Now. I uh, am making this video right now even though Jake is busy working on a new 3D printer because Prusa hosed us and their printer didn't work. I'm gonna carefully step over Jake's laptop cord. Here we have our drone pilot working on something that'll be a video later on. And uh, so the, the kicker to this is that the ladies of Foam Blast and Bobo are at my house right now for an upcoming SCNC war and uh, they've been throwing darts at me constantly. So let's test out the Wraith. Are you dabbing on my haters, Bobo? Dabbing on you. You're the hater. <laughs> I have 12 more shots. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough bullying on Bobo, I think. But uh, I will show off the Wraith. So this is my... Uh, my paint job that I've been using a lot, it is a vampire film hydrographic dip job over a metallic red with metallic shimmer. I pull that metallic shimmer into the black to give it a really interesting sheen and finish. And I mean, this is identical to how Sauron's paint job was done, leaving the orange on. So I mean, obviously a very effective primary 
I suppose. But uh, I, I like it way more with the seven rounders than the 12. However, when I use this at the SENC war, I will almost certainly be using uh, more 12s than sevens. You can see the performance is now matching that of Sauron just because it is a standard rival setup, but with the, uh, the MOSFET installed, it's just ultra slick, ultra snappy, very comfortable, and I like it a, a ton. So this is like not quite the sidearm, but the pseudo primary built to uh, complement Sauron, and it does a very nice job of that while looking really, really cool. But this is what I think like the Hera should look like in its final form. I'm still not a big believer in chopping all of this off and using tiny Tiny, tiny batteries. I think that uh, it's much cooler as a full-size like sort of pseudo rifle styling especially since it's so incredibly thick up in the front but I'm very happy with the aesthetic of this. I think that it looks great. I love the addition of the logo. I did hand letter my name on this time. I'm out of rival rounds. I'm just being like Alrighty, so uh, I've got a war to attend to at this point I suppose fellows but uh Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you like this uh, look at the Wraith build. This was a ton of fun, a really great chance to like break into MOSFETs finally. Again, I did use a MOSFET loom, but I feel like I finally understand them now. And that is the first step. The only thing that I might do is get a thumb screw to replace this with, because that could be ultra slick, very nice. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you like this project. And as always, much love, nerf on, drag out. Uh -huh.